back again with more Football Manager players to look at as we seek to find the best new gens in FM history. We have found some outrageous players so far, but today I think I found some more really, really good ones. Come on, let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this series that we've got going on at the moment where we are looking to find the best new gens in FM history. Players like this man here. This is Nadson, a centre midfielder submitted by Josh. Josh is doing, or has in the past done, a uh, Huddersfield save back on FM20, as you can see. And he suggests that this is one of the best centre midfielders that the game has ever produced in terms of a new gen, in terms of a save file that you've still got that you can submit to my form on the internet. You know what I'm talking about, right? He's pretty good. I like the look of him. Does he pass the name test as one of our key criteria? Nadson? I think he does. I like him. I think he looks like a solid midfielder. Now, today's video, because we've done three of these videos previously, today's video, I'm trying to fill in the gaps a little bit. Previously, in the other episodes, we have looked at three goalkeepers, one right back, one left back, one centre back, one defensive midfielder, one left winger, and six strikers. I think we can box off strikers. They did look like the best ones that had been submitted, so choose from those ones. Today, I'm going to fill in the gaps a little bit. We've got a left back. This is our centre midfielder. We've got an attacker midfielder and two right wingers. And then we've looked at every position, hopefully enough, picked out the best ones. There may be one more episode where we look at new gens so that if anyone submits any more, we might consider those. But then I think the final episode of this series that we're doing will be after getting you guys to vote on your best ones. When we collate them all together and turn them into a team in FM24 and call them the best new gens that have ever existed. Hopefully that sounds good. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's, uh, it's what I like about Football Manager. It's looking at people's stories and people's players and it's the 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 random factor of fm that i really like the new gens for me are possibly the best thing about the game signing players etc but when the new gens start to start a save really comes to life for me nadson then let's consider if he's going to make our best 11 ever what does he have what does he lack does he make it he's tall enough at six foot that's good for a center midfielder he's a bit of a box to box well he's a natural box to box which i like he's got 20 bravery as his standout attribute here Great physicals. He's fast as well, actually. 17 pace, 19 agility. So he's, he could play on the wing with these physicals, although maybe a little bit low in natural fitness. So we're being really harsh, aren't we? But he is he's pretty good. The perfectionist personality is something I've only just noticed now. The traits look pretty good. Gets the crowd going. Marks opponents tightly. I'd like to see, because he's a box-to-box, -box, maybe arrives late in opponent's area, that type of thing. But they're pretty good. They're okay. The mentals are absurd, aren't they? They're, they are ridiculous. Very aggressive. Great off the ball positioning. Vision at 15 is all right, considering he's not a playmaker. He's a box to box. The passing's really good. The tackling is good too. Do you know what? Do you know what? I say that a lot, but do you know what? He's really good, isn't he? 26 years old, 44 caps for Brazil. Plays for Huddersfield. Hopefully winning things. That is maybe something we look at to add to the pedigree, don't we? Has he got on his milestone something to say? Well, he's got a Copper America winner. Uh, win. He's got a European Super Cup, which suggests that they did win the Champions League. There it is. Look, they won the FA Cup. They won the Premier League. The answer is yes. He has won plenty of trophies. Any Ballon d'Ors or anything like that. He got the BOC Footballer of the Year. Not even sure what that is. Best Europe-based player named in the Team of the Year. Footballer of the Year third placed. There is no World Golden Ball. Is it called the Golden Ball on here? It is. Did he ever win one of these? No. That's because it's only 2028. This is still pretty early in this save, really, isn't it? Although FM20 are just for that, right? Erling Haaland has won it for a couple of years in a row. He was still really good. Even four versions ago, he's playing for Real Madrid here looking like a beast. He'd maybe make our team, but he's not a new gen. I like Nadson, though. Even though he's not won that Ballon d'Or, he's still young enough potentially to go and win it. He's only 26, so I like him a lot. Will he make our best 11? I guess you, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments down below. He's our first one, though. Let's move through to the next one and have a look at a left back. Before we look at the left back, I need to jump in and say, please subscribe to the channel. I'll keep it short and sweet today. Please subscribe. It really, really makes me happy inside and I've got lofty ambition. So please do subscribe, like the video, leave me in the comments down below and let's have a look at that left back. Nice and short, right? And that left back is this man here, Abdul Qadir Baloumi, submitted by Alexis Fade. Thank you for submitting your man here for left back. And yeah. I think he's pretty good. He's only 22 years old, so let's consider that when we're thinking about his potential. Let's have a look at his pros and cons. Very, very nice. Lots of pros. Only a couple of cons, which is the lack of versatility. He can only play as a left back 
and needs to improve his crossing. Although his crossing's 12, which isn't terrible. We always look for, don't we? When we look at wing backs, we're looking for, do they have all of the amazing physicals and mentals, etc.? but also can they cross? Because it's so hard to find the new gen wing back that can also cross. I think 12 is passable and I'm not sure we're going to find too much better. That's why the right back we looked at, Parashiv, I think his name was, was so standout. It's because he had, I think it was 15 crossing. I think 12 is passable, especially when you do have these physicals here. He's going to bomb up and down this left-hand side, isn't he? I think can be really, really good at that. He is playing for Sporting in 2029. This is an FM23 save that I've ported over to FM24 to have a look at Abdul Qadir Baloumi. Now, Alexis Fade does say about him, probably his technicals let him down slightly. Does, does only have that 12 passing, 13 marking, 12 dribbling, that 12 crossing we talked about. I'm not sure. I don't think they necessarily let him down. Be good if he did have maybe, I don't know, like 14s, 15s in some of these. Heading not being great. I, I, I think he's okay. I think that he's got the tackling. He's got the technique. He's got brilliant mentals and amazing physicals. I'm okay with this, especially considering that he's 22 and can go and get better in the future. Does say he doesn't have full five-star potential, so maybe he doesn't get that much better. But if he improves on these technicals a little bit, which you can do as you get to an older player, I think we've got a good player on our hands here. How has he done so far in the save? Signed for only 300k. I don't know if that adds to it or makes things better, but I quite like it. Signed for Sporting in 2025, 300k from an Algerian team. And then went on to be a first team player after playing a few games or about a season in the B team. It's a nice development, good average ratings, loads of caps for the first team. Assume there's not been too much won because of where we are in the save. Don't think there's going to be a Champions League or anything. No, but he has won the uh, Portuguese Cup. Ha has he won the league yet in this save? Portuguese Premier League champions as well. It's a little bit of extra pedigree to the player. I like him. Is he better than the other left back we looked at? That's what we'll need to consider. We'll have a we'll have a video where we look at and compare all of the ones we looked at, I think. Also, I'm going to do probably maybe a vote on the Claytreon where I'll list out and screenshot all of the players. Might even pin it in a comment at some point. I want you guys to help me, though, to decide what is going to be our best Dream 11 of these new gens. Will Balumi make it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's move through. What should we have a look at next? Should we have a look at a an attacking midfielder? Yeah, come on. An attacking midfielder, number 10 type player here by the name of Il Senio, submitted by Chrissy. Tell me what you think of this one. He is just 19 years old, so a big thing to consider with Il Senio is that he's going to get better in the future. He, he, he is listed as a wonder kid, does have the perfectionist personality. I think there are some obvious gaps in his game, and I'm not sure... He's going to get through into the final team just because we haven't seen what he can become. But I think we're all smart enough and knowledgeable enough to know that actually the player that Ilsenio is going to become is going to be a bit of a worldie. This is in FM24 and I, I like what I see, but I do wonder if he's quite, because he's not the finished article yet. He doesn't have, he's got really low strength. He's a little five foot six, number 10, which I mean, we haven't seen any of these yet. So maybe... We'll, we'll consider that too. He's quick enough. He's got good agility and balance. Great mentals, especially for a 19-year-old. Amazing mentals. If he can improve on these physicals, which I don't know if they're quite... I mean, they're good, but they're not elite elite, right? I think that's probably what we could agree on. Good dribbling, good passing, great technique. But then if we look at like 10 long shots, 10 corners is okay. I suppose that's not really an issue anyway. Nine tackling, but if we're playing him as a number 10, it's not the worst. These, these mentals are great. So there is that. So far, also, I do... Well, another thing to consider. Does he pass the name test, Il Senio? He definitely does, doesn't he? He's a Portuguese-Brazilian number 10. That's quite cool. And uh, has not yet made his Portuguese debut. Has, though, won the Portuguese Under-21 Player of the Year. as his only thing so far. Has won the Champions League. Has won the Super Cup. The German Super Cup has won the Bundesliga. This Stuttgart team, by the way. I'm just going to show you it really quickly because I really like it. It's quite... It's right up my street. But also with a really funky cool tactic that's kind of lopsided. Looks like chrissy has been deploying Il Senior as a deeper lying midfielder. I'd want to maybe try and eventually get him into this number 10 role. That seems to be where he'd be best for me. But there are some cool players in here. I love Tosin Adarabayo. Barco's in here. Coyote's in here. Udrego. Uh, Gluk is up there. Look, and then some new gens in it too. I really like this team. Anyway. That is our number 10 offering. Let's have a look now, finally, to end the video. A couple of right wingers, because we haven't had many of those yet. Come on. The first right winger is this man here. Courtesy of Jeanade. Thank you for submitting. Oscar Pena. A right winger with a left foot. 
Um, I mean, they've all got left foot, but you know what I mean? He's left footed. He is listed as a wonder kid. He's 20 years old and he's already got these, these attributes. He is, I think, a really strong contender for this right wing berth. He is going to be inverted, although actually is naturally an advanced playmaker. Spanish international, eight caps, three goals so far. Only 20 years old, as I said. Professional personality, listed as a wonder kid. Great traits. I like the idea that maybe the idea that he comes deep to get the ball is a weird one, but I like the idea that he tries the killer balls and gets into the opposition area. You can see him scoring goals because of that. The attributes, according to Janaid, speak for themselves, and it's difficult to argue. He has got great agility. The pace, am I going to be really critical because his acceleration is only 15 and not 16? I think the more greens you have, the better, right? Possibly. Isn't the tallest at 5 foot 10, although at least, well, he's okay, but isn't the, uh, the best jumper with only nine jumping reach. But these technicals in these mentals are really, really good, especially for a 20-year-old. Anticipation, composure, decisions, flair, off the ball and vision, all green attributes at just 20. Dribbling is really high. First touch is really high. The finishing is good enough for a winger. Passing is great. That passing and that vision, that's why he's a really good advanced playmaker because get him on the ball and he will create chances. 19 technique. I can see that he scored 22 goals for Everton, which is where he's currently at. That is who Janaid is managing in this save, which was an FM23 save ported over to FM24. He has, yeah, I wanted to see how many assists is he getting? 10 in the Premier League, 19 assists in all competitions. He's a playmaker from this right-hand side, isn't he? 55 million he cost. PSG picked him up for 775k from Espanyol and then sold him to uh, to our guy here at Everton. I'm impressed. Has he won anything so far? What milestones does he have? Awards? Has he won anything? He's in the uh, seasonal best 11. He was in the next gen. Did he win? Ah, oh, that's a cool one. I just saw it there. 2026 got European Golden Boy. I assume he's not won a Ballon d'Or yet. He's still very young. It's actually only 2028 as well. So that is another thing to consider. Has he won any competitions? He has got that Champions League on his CV. It's important. I think we need it. Carabao Cup, has he won the league yet? Yeah, Premier League champions as well. I think this is a strong contender. Oscar Pena. Let's go and compare him to another right winger. Our final of today's episode. And the final offering of today's video is this man, Sadiq Kamoun, a Swiss right winger submitted by Michael. Now, he's a special one. I've got, got a feeling you guys might like this one. He is now, let's consider this, 35 years old. He's not going to be in his prime, but have a look at his mentals, have a look at the technicals, have a look at where his physicals still are, and then consider what he would have been six, seven, eight years ago. And then I think we've got an idea of just how special this player could be. He's a right winger, given the number nine by PSG here, which is where he is at the moment. Michael was managing Walton and Hersham in the Premier League after all of these years. Look, he was bought for £41 million and he had a stellar career through the course of like 15 years in the Premier League where he scored a lot of goals and created a lot of chances and made a lot of assists. He says does Michael. His best season was this one, the 49-50 season where he scored 21 goals and got 37 assists in the league. An 8.02 average rating. What a player this guy must have been. 49 assists in all competitions, 26 goals in all competitions. He calls him, Michael does, the best passer the world has ever seen. And it's difficult to argue. He's got that 18 passing, 17 technique, 18 vision, as well as having amazing dribbling. He's got 17 crossing from this right-hand side. His physicals, his pace and his acceleration must have been right up there as well back in his day. He's 35 and apparently has dominated all of the awards for most of the time in this save. He has won Premier League, Champions League. He's won it all. He's won World Footballer of the Year. If I click on this one here, I mean, look how many times he's won it. Look how many times Walton and Hersham players have won it. That's outrageous. This Joaquin Suarez must have been a bit of a player himself. Have a look at this though. Kamun, one, two, three, four, five wins in the World Player of the Year. Let's have a look at the golden ball. Is that on here? It is. He has won it one, two, three times. Yeah. I think we can all consider that, um, yeah, he's pretty good. Did he win anything? I suppose, did he win anything with Switzerland? I doubt it. No, I, I mean, he's won his first inter international cup there. He's won it all. He's an outrageous player. He looks brilliant. Will he make our best ever dream 11? I guess that's you guys that are going to help me to decide that one. Sadiq Kamoun rounds off today's video. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I've got, I could do more. I could do so many of these. We've got over 120 players submitted at this stage. It's outrageous. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. 
I really want to find the best of the best. And I'm scrolling through all of them. And Tom's helping me do that. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching today. Please do leave me those comments because that's what I'm going to base all of our our decisions off as well as maybe doing a vote at some point but i'll let you know what's going on with that one maybe i'll do a community post to explain it or put it in the comments etc etc thank you for watching though please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos if you want to see more of them if you want to see more videos from me please do subscribe we're aiming for 75k subscribers but most importantly have a lovely rest of your day thanks for watching Bye bye <laughs>